Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about what is a PoE powered switch. First of all, a PoE system includes a power supply equipment and a power device. A power supply equipment usually includes a PoE switch and a PoE injector. The PoE NVR is also power supply equipment. If you want to know the difference, you can take a look at my previous video, what is the difference between the PoE switch and the PoE NVR. The power supply equipments send power and data to edge devices through a single ethernet cable. The edge device is also known as the power device. Common power devices are known as IP cameras, wireless access points, and VOIP phones. The edge device receives the power and data in order to function properly. Although, in some circumstances, a regular power supply equipment and power device cannot satisfy our needs. Now, in the market, we have a new hybrid device right here. He can play both powered supply equipment and powered device in the PoE system. Doesn't that sound complicated? Now let's take a closer look. You can see in front of this powered supply equipment, it is also called a PoE powered switch. It has eight ports and the number eight port is a special port. It is designed for receiving power and data from the Ethernet cable. And port number 1 to 7, we can use it as output ports. Once you plug in an Ethernet cable linked to a PoE switch to port number 8, this whole powered switch can act as a regular switch. And then port number 1 to 7, you can use them as regular PoE ports. On the side right here, we also have an output for electricity. We can connect this to our circuit and turn this into a power supply equipment. After you connect this to your electricity, ports 1 to 7 can still act as PoE ports. So when will this powered switch device come in handy? Well, imagine you're in the field. You only have one Ethernet cable connected to a PoE device. Now you want to add more PoE devices in the field. Well, all you have to do is use the Ethernet cable and connect it with this PoE powered switch. Once you connect it with the switch, it will turn into a regular switch in the field. Then you can add as many and more you want. Isn't that handy? There's no extra wiring needed. In my next video, I'll show you guys how to expand your PoE network with multiple PoE powered switches. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.